Hey, it's Dr. Kian. Some of you have been writing to me and saying, Dr. Kian, my mom has high blood pressure, my dad has diabetes, there's cancer that runs in my family. You're concerned, and I get what you're hearing, but I want to reassure you of a few things. That even though you have disease that runs in your family, whether or not we actually get a disease is our mindset, our choices, that dictate whether or not those diseases come to fruition. You are ultimately in control of your health. Dr. Rangan Chatterjee in his TED Talk said this, although genes may load the gun, it is actually our environment that pulls the trigger. What it means is the environment we have for ourselves and our body, how you treat it with sleep, with exercise, with your diet, with whether or not you're stressed. Here with us today is model and lifestyle strategist Kevin Kreider to talk about how to go from a victim mindset to that of a healthy, successful mindset. Hey guys, my name is Kevin Kreider. I'm a lifestyle strategist and model. I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever fallen into playing the victim? Because I know I have. Growing up, I used to play the victim of, I'm an Asian male, nobody finds me attractive because I'm Asian. So what ended up happening is, I started to feel really depressed about myself and my life situation, growing a lot of self-hatred, a lot of self-loathing that nobody would find me attractive, that I'd probably be single my whole life, girls wouldn't find me attractive, and I was limited to certain careers in my life. I played victim in it because I thought I didn't have control over the outcome of my life then. I would never be able to look like these people that were desirable on TV, media, and modeling. So what I would do is blame other people for my situations. Blame other girls. Ask really bad questions like, well, why was I born this way? Why don't girls find Asian guys attractive? That is playing the victim. Seeing your life situations and not having control over the rest of your life. So what you end up doing is doing nothing. You just end up just getting in your head, disconnecting from the world and getting depressed. So what I did instead was I started to ask myself better questions. I asked myself, well, who is maybe Asian and has the body or the life that I want? There has to be someone out there because if someone did it, then I could possibly do it. Then I started to look at other ways of improving my mindset as well by reframing the situation. Ask yourself better questions to lead you into action because when you basically ask questions saying, well, why don't girls like me? It's not in solvable terms. Reframing is not discarding what might have happened to you. Reframing is just looking at the same situation from a different angle, a different perspective, a different way of wording it, so it's a solvable problem for you. Too many times we've set up that problem and there's no way to actually solve it, so instead we just fall victim to it and then we expect other people to do things for us or give us things without working for it because we were the victim of a situation that we couldn't control. You need to be able to ask questions to lead you into action. Instead of just saying, oh, well, why don't girls like me? Maybe you need to say, well, what better social skills can I have? What better skills and talents? What can I do for the world? What can I do to build my own self-esteem? Those are better questions to ask instead of, why don't girls find me attractive? And because of the framing and reframing and asking better questions, it all started to work out for me. I became a successful model. Online dating wasn't a thing for me anymore because I didn't need online dating. I could just use my social skills and my confidence to attract who I wanted in my life. I've been able to become a successful model in my life despite the barriers of being an Asian American male. Look, we all have life circumstances happen to us, but playing the victim is letting life happen to you. So I want you to figure this out for yourself. What is the one thing that's holding you back? Don't play the victim and take your life back and go into action.